Hey guys, uh, welcome to Additional Messages. All right, so uh, <laughs> there's been a bit of a delay, guys. There's been a bit of a delay. A lot of stuff's been going on, um, personally to do with me, okay? Um, hence the delay, all right? Uh, but we're all good. We're here now. We're getting it done. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, we're going to start with the animals, all right? Oh, um, so <laughs> I almost forgot, okay? Um, so... This is something that could have happened, you may be going through it, could be coming up for you, but you're generally going to know if these messages apply uh, to you, okay? Um, so take on the messages which are yours and just discard the rest, mate, not your message. Okay, and the best way to view these things too, um, just saying, is that um, it's all well and good to, you know, view these videos and stuff at the start of the month, okay? Uh, and, and, you know, just to get, you know, try to get a glimpse into the future because we all worry about the future and we're all bloody human, mate. But what is freaking amazing, okay, it's so amazing, is when you look at the video after <laughs> afterwards, all right? So have a look at the videos you know previous videos and stuff and actually see like this is a good thing okay to overcome fear all right because I, I know from personal experience that watching videos like this can produce fear okay of like worst case scenarios because we all worry about stuff all right but um, when you look back on these things, right, you can actually compare and see, um, you know, you'll remember how you were feeling and what you were thinking when these messages came through. And then when you look back, you know, when the month is done and dusted or whatever, or these, um, you know, these experiences or whatever have actually come in for you and they've, they've finished or cleared or whatever, um, you get a really good understanding of how things actually turned out. And this is, this is about um, your own personal intuition as well you can use this to um, build on your intuition okay so what is um, fear what is fact and what is fantasy right <laughs> right all right here we go guys so check it out right check it out see how things turned out for you all right right okay here we go guys We've got the nightingale in reverse. Nightingale talks about communications. This can be global communications. This can be messages coming in. Any form of communication. There could have been a delay, a challenge, a hold up. Um, this is connected to bringing something into the physical uh, from the divine and creating it on the physical. This can be anything from artistic expression and inspiration right down to conception and pregnancy. <laughs> okay. Um, so there might be something regarding that. Um, we're possibly feeling the lack of strength within the situation if we're awaiting results, okay? Um, we've also got the line in reverse here. This is the card of Leo, may or may not apply. You may have Leo on your chart. You might be dealing with a Leo. Otherwise, this is just the general energy of lacking the strength and not feeling strong enough within the situation, okay? And I feel like it's because of the delay, all right? We've, it's always coming through like a freak out because we're waiting, okay, on results. All right, this could be a separate message or a carry-on. We've got the beaver in reverse, which talks about work, okay? It talks about putting a hell of a lot of work into something. This can be anything on any level, okay? This can be emotional. This can be physical. Uh, this can be uh, mental, okay? Mental work on yourself, um, which I've personally been doing lately, okay? Um, and it's... Also about things like study, university, uh, anything of a studying nature as well, okay? Um, the fact that the beaver's in reverse either um, denotes a hold up, a challenge, or um, we're completing a cycle, okay? We've got the cheetah here, which, which is high octane, mate. Right? It's high octane, moves fast. Um, it's also, it does talk about cutting corners, and stuff like that, okay? Um, which is quite fascinating. Um, so if this is about learning our lesson, this is about cutting corners uh, on, on something um, or, you know, having to go through certain processes uh, to be able to achieve the desired result, okay? Um, I'm picking up on a separate message for that cheater in reverse. We're going to look into that. Okay, so the next cards that we've got up are the lamb, okay? Lamb represents purity, represents growth, um, represents uh, nurturing and growing. Um, new, uh, there's a newness here, there is a newness here, all right? A new things incoming, new things incoming. 
We've got um, the cobra here, which represents anything of the medical industry, okay? This can represent doctors, um, and this can represent being innocent within a situation also, okay? If you're dealing with um, cobra energy, cobra energy can be sneaky, it can be sus, okay? But you're going to know if this is you. Um, you may be innocent within the situation. Um, example, I'm getting the word accused. You're getting accused of something here, but you're actually innocent. <laughs> within a situation okay that's what it's kind of feeling like all right we're gonna have a look at this okay uh we're gonna look into the cheater in reverse with the spell casters okay whoa all right guys wow We've got cheater in reverse, all right. Um, we've got the <laughs> we've got the seven of swords here, uh, which talks about hidden information, right? So generally speaking, um, yes, it's sneaking around, all right, sneaking around, uh, stuff like that, okay. But you know, a general interpretation of this energy, okay, is uh, withheld information, information uh, that hasn't had you know light shone upon the situation yet okay because everybody's freaking like you can see the symbology the the wolves are bloody sleeping mate and this guy's racking off with all the swords okay um but when they wake up they'll find out right <laughs> okay we've got um uh, so it's like a delay in information um we've got the tower here guys so this is scorpio energy to the crap all right this is something suddenly coming into your awareness this could be a fear this could be a worry about hidden information uh suddenly coming to light okay suddenly coming to light um you may be it could be a worry an anxiety a fear okay um just take that as that rolls or how it applies all right uh, we're gonna have a look into the tower Okay, so the tower could be involving an emotional walking away, all right? Um, with the Eight of Cups here in the upright, okay, he's emotionally walking away and he's like, toodaloo, I can't find my happiness here, so I'm off, right? But for some reason, we're not moving on from this or um, we're caught up in something perhaps on the emotional levels where we're just not emotionally walking away yet. Maybe we can find happiness within a situation, as well we've got the emperor in reverse okay um which talks about well this is the card of aries all right and it's also a boss a father a grandfather figure okay who doesn't seem to be in his power at the moment okay um so if this is talking to you we're going to get you an ascendant masters on this This could be involving opening your heart to love, okay? Or well, this is guidance, okay, to open your heart to love within a situation here. Um, the, oh, I, I just got, okay, I've got to say it because it's coming through. Miracles will be performed. Miracles will be performed, okay? Coming back to that Jesus symbology, this applies to a situation, okay? It applies to a situation, all right, we've got right, okay, we've got right, which is awesome. Oh, sorry, this is like really speaking to me right now on the personal levels, all right? So writing could be involved, communication could be involved. We've got flow of prosperity here. So this is a lot of it, okay? This can, can be involving the financial levels, yes, but generally this is talking about an abundance, um, an abundance of there's something here, um, love, miracles, writing, okay, uh, which all seem to be in their power. Okay, so this is actually looking uh, quite positive. If, um, yeah, it's looking quite positive. Whew, all right, um, we're going to have a look into the lamb. The lamb and the cobra energy. All right. Oh, this is funny. This is so funny. Oh, I don't know why it's funny. Oh, like, I'm just getting that... Um, uh, it's like a humor, a sense of humor coming through. It's a sense of humor coming through. Oh, okay. All right. I just had a look on the bottom of the deck. We've got justice. Okay. So this is talking about things such as karma. Okay. This is Libra energy, the card of Libra as well. May or may not apply, but we're generally talking justice. Okay. So we're talking anything from karma, balancing acts, <laughs> balancing acts. Okay. Um, to law. 
um, things of that nature, that symbology, okay? The, the law of the land is what I got. The law of the universe as well. The law of the universe. Okay, so I was drawn off the lamb card, okay, but obviously these two energies are connected, so keep that in mind, but to hook in, I've hooked, um, I hooked normally into the lamb, um, I, I did the stronger connection with the lamb, all right, um, so nine of pentacles here represents a, um, financially secure woman okay an independent woman independence in some way okay financially stable stable got two feet on the ground basically got everything uh in her life she's able to stand her ground stand on i'm seeing feet firmly planted in the ground okay it's like a solidness it's like solidness here We've got the star in reverse here. This is the card of Aquarius, all right? And this is about hopes and dreams, okay? There could be a delay. There could be an obstacle. There could be a challenge, okay, regarding this. Um, we're just going to leave that there. I'm starting to get a little bit of heart pain, all right? I'm getting a little bit of a heart pain. This may be heartbreak involved, all right? Um, but you've got to know if this, is, this applies to you. We've got lovers here, okay, which is the card of Gemini. It seems to be in its power, mate. Right? It seems to be in its power. Uh, this talks about good decisions as well, okay? So uh, we're talking about sacred unions, sacred, sacred contracts, okay, and um, decisions uh, needing to be made. Um, yeah, decisions needing to be made. We've got the sun energy, um, which is in reverse. This is the card of Leo as well. May or may not apply. Okay, um, we may be having um, difficulties within this, okay, for some reason. Uh, but with the, the lovers here and the sun, I'm picking up for someone here that through a good decision, um, the sun energy in reverse, I recently got told by my guides, is that it can actually um, denote a inner confidence and inner motivation, okay? And if this is the case, this is through a, a positive, a good decision, okay? And this inner motivation shall occur. It will occur. It's like kickstarting within you, okay? Kickstarting within you. We've got the Three of Pentacles here, which talks about teamwork, all right, and uh, learning. We're learning something here. We've got, uh, you know, three people here. We've got some sort of leader, okay, that seems to have knowledge within the situation and, and wants to teach these people. And, uh, like, this can have a financial aspect, all right, but this is about this energy just in general, okay. We've got, a, we've got someone with knowledge, okay, and they're wanting to share this knowledge with others, okay. Um, actually, we're just going to look into that star energy in reverse and see what the base energy of that is. Okay, so that's the card there. We're going to get an angel card on that. Divine communication. Divine communication. Because <laughs> it's coming downwards. It's coming downwards. Just because cards are, are reversed doesn't actually mean that it's a negative thing. All right, so just keep that in mind as well. We've got steady progress here, okay? So this has taken a long time to get to this point. And we've got miracle. What did I say, guys? You can't make it up, all right? Um, so miracles are happening. Miracles are here, all right? Um, but somebody has put a hell of a lot of work in to get to this point, mate, to get to this point. Like, um, it is just taken so long, okay, to find the understanding, to adjust oneself, okay, and miracles are here. It's bloody happening, all right? Um, that is fantastic. Um, okay, we're going to look into the steady progress with the Leno Man. <laughs> Oh, we've got the star card back again. Fantastic. And it's in its power, all right? Um, we've got a, a friend or a friendship here. It, it doesn't seem to be in its power. This can also be talking about pets as well. Um, we've got a uh, woman here, okay, who seems to be in their power. If this is talking about two people, we're talking about someone who's not in their power or someone, someone that is in their power, right? Otherwise, we're talking about um, some sort of challenge or obstacle here, uh, but someone seems to be on top of it, okay, if this is talking about two people or even just one person. 
all right we've got um communication in the reverse okay this could be uh, delays challenges hold-ups um it could mean a negative communication but i mean like you're just gonna have to take that one how it rolls right and we've got um a, a blockage and uncertainty okay even though it's um upright okay or some sort of um th there could be a slight burdening aspect to this all right in some way or it's um feels like an ongoing delay or it's something ongoing but it's it's there nonetheless all right and then obviously star card after that okay so this could be about um solid foundations for hopes and dreams i'm getting the i am getting the word solid foundations solid foundations okay the solid foundations here all right okay oh my goodness okay we are Gonna look into the cover energy, all right? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's like it's aroused my suspicions, right? And I'm like, hmm, how interesting. And uh, the humor came through again. Okay, so it's like, oh, this is funny. Okay, so this is this has got the curiosities up, all right? So let's have a look at this cover. Let's see what goes on. Okay, this could be involving a um a delay in a decision, uh, possibly a bad decision as well. But I'm I'm not feeling the case. I'm just feeling um. A, a delaying in a choice or a decision that needed or needs to be made we've got um <laughs> we've got the ship here all right so this could be involving trips travels journeys okay transportation transportation issues maybe uh, but yep yeah, see see how that goes um We've got a woman here who's in the reverse here, which seems to not be in her power, right? But whether that's regarding you or this actual woman, okay, that's up to personal interpretation. It could be in your mind. You may be thinking this woman is not in her power, is not on top of her game, but I'm telling you, she is. <laughs> The coffin here, which represents an ending or a delay, all right, in something, um, and it could be knowledge. It could be um, knowledge. This could be knowledge of an ending. Um, this could be knowledge of an ending. That's how it's coming through. Um, but it's, oh, I've just got to say, we've got the rider here, which talks about something incoming, a delay, something coming towards you delayed, or something which could possibly be unpleasant as well. So if this is you, <laughs> we're going to get you some guidance if we can. Um, I just don't know where to begin uh, because I'm, I'm still in that humour. I just, like, it. this feels funny. Like, this, 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 this kind of feels like a bit of a... It could feel like a circus to you, mate, but I don't think that uh, I'm feeling somebody here actually in the crowd watching this circus take place, mate. So don't freak out that this is going to happen to you. All right. So with this energy here, we've got soul solitude and it's in the reverse. So someone may have taken a time out. Okay, gone within and they're coming out of that now. Otherwise, we need to have a good think about the choices that we've made, right? <laughs> we've got caregiver all right it's in the reverse mate uh so you may not have felt um like you'd been looked after all right um in some way okay in some aspect um we've got uh inspire passion here um or oh, this is sorry this is also talking about not put, putting up with people's crap okay and not uh nurturing bullshit as well within your life um, like, um, especially coming back to, I just got the word sidelines. Okay. And it's like, you know, sitting in the crowd and watching the circus. All right. This is taking an observant approach. All right. And not jumping into the bullshit. Okay. And not nurturing that bullshit. Okay. Um, <laughs> just saying, um, okay. Inspire passion in the reverse. So someone within the situation might not be feeling motivated. Okay. Within a situation to get something done. Um, but I still feel that it needs to be done. Okay. It needs to be done. We've got take a moment. All right. Um, in the reverse, which denotes that, um, it, things are progressing. Okay, things are progressing forward here. Uh, with the take at moment when it's in the upright, normally this is a, like a no card and there's nothing that you can do about something. Okay, but with it in the reverse, that's like the opposite of that. Okay, so this is about um, you may be feeling the lack of motivation or passion, but it's like you're still going to get it done anyway. Okay, so we're going to get an angel card for this. 
We've got don't compromise, okay? So this is about standing your ground and just getting it done, mate. Uh, going well, going well. We've got pause, okay, which kind of reflects the we need to go within for this one or there could have been a pause or a delay within this situation. And we've got look deeper, which fell out all weird like, okay? Um, so... I read cards three ways, all right? So I read them upright, I read them reversed, and I read them weird-like, <laughs> okay? Uh, because I found truth within this, all right? But, you know, uh, generally speaking, we're talking about someone uh, on the fence, okay? Or not knowing what to do, okay? Um, whether to look deeper, whether to not look deeper. Have a good look at everything. Like, um, I'm, I'm picking up, like, history here. Look at the look at the history. Look at uh, looking at um decisions you've made okay and um see if there's something else or someone else involved okay that could have potentially influenced this okay um so i highly recommend you do that okay have a look have a look at everything all right um Okay, but either way, we've still got, you know, delays, possible challenges or, you know, taking the time out involved. Putting things off as well for some reason. Okay, uh, we are going to get a quick, another quick message. All right. This is so fascinating, guys. Unbelievable. Just saying, right? Just saying. Okay. Uh, on the bottom of the deck, we've got earthworm here. So this talks about solid foundations. Uh, for somebody here, we have solid foundations put in place. It's on the ground, mate. It's on the ground. It's ready to be built upon. All right. Uh, that's looking quite positive. It's in its power, okay? Um, it, things are looking good. Things are looking good, right? This is talking about being smart within the situation also, <laughs> okay? Um, okay. So we're going to do some winnow, man. Take that as well. We've got the key and it's in the reverse, okay? I feel like the key to this situation <laughs> is happiness or something's being brought to light here. This could actually be involving legit physical keys as well, okay? Just saying. For somebody here, it's representing a bloody key that's not in its power, <laughs> all right? Um, but we've got, um, this is the card of Leo as well, uh, and this is the card of happiness, all right? And, and also, um, yeah, card of happiness, all right? Um, external influence as well. We've got um, the mountain here, which represents long distance. It can mean um, long distance travel, things like that. Um, we've got uh, possible, possible challenges, possible obstacles that we need to overcome here. Um, but, you know, I feel that light's being shone upon this, okay? We've got um, the anchor back again, all right? And we've got the star, okay? So this can talk, if it can be in this situation, I can be talking about solid hopes and dreams here, a solid communication, all right? Solid communication. Um, this is the card of Aquarius as well. We're going to look into this. We're going to look into this star energy. Could be about a trip or a visit, something coming towards you. We've got that rider back that's in the reverse, all right? And we've got that woman back who doesn't seem to be in her power. Okay, we've got a house involved, okay, which doesn't seem to be in its power also, okay. Uh, changing places, changing spaces, right. Um, we've got a change occurring here. So changes are taking place. Changes are involved within this. Um, with the Pelican card here in the traditional Rider Waite, it is the Stork card. So this can also represent pregnancy, may or may not apply. Okay, but generally changes are taking place here. We've got the Fish here, which represents uh, money, finances, abundance. Okay, this is the card of Pisces as well. We have got um, communications or limited communications regarding this or some sort of, um, I'm going to say negative communication. Okay, but I, I don't, it's a negative communication okay but I don't I still feel that sitting on the sidelines thing I don't actually feel that it's um, necessarily to do with you personally okay and we've got uh, some sort of either purity innocence regarding this okay and it's in its power okay it's in its power this is about purity and innocence okay purity and innocence 
All right, um, we're just going to get an animal off that to try to confirm. Yeah, all right. So the hummingbird is connected. Okay, this talks about limitless energy and precision. All right, so the hummingbird goes around to all the flowers, okay, and, and gets the nectar, okay, and he, this is also um, the alchemical symbol for her, air, all right, so this is talking about possible information, so this is information from all sources, okay, and uh, it's in its power, all right, this is a good omen, this is a good, good, uh, I'm getting new beginning come through for somebody, all right, good new beginning, worries and anxieties are dropping within this situation, if we're feeling clamped down about things, that seems to be dissipating as well. We are now seeing clearly within the situation with the crocodile here. The crocodile lives in murky waters, mate. But the fact that he's in the reverse, he is able to see clearly within this situation, okay? Uh, crocodile always, ah, always, he always talks about, he, um, he sometimes talks about um, being brutal with one's mouth as well. And that seems to be dissipating as well. We've got some sort of routine possibly involved here. Okay, so uh, routine could be involved, uh, doing the same thing over and over and over again regarding someone within this situation, okay? That could be a surrounding energy, um, but we've got the horse here, which I'm really feeling, uh, it's like uh, breaking from, breaking free from the pack, breaking away from the pack, okay, here. Um, uh, breaking away uh, from routine as well. If this is talking about behavioral patterns, because the lizard um, does represent the reptilian side of our brain as well, okay, um, this is about achieving. Okay, this is about breaking away from the pack. The gates are open, boom, and we're going straight for it, okay, because we know that we can achieve this. We know that this is what we want, okay, and this is what's happening. This is what's, this is what's happening, okay. It's just how it is. All right, this is how it is, mate. This is how it is. And um, oh, it's like it's coming through like a good at winning, like um, good at winning the race, good at um, – it's looking good, okay? It's looking good for you to be able to achieve this, whatever the hell it is, all right? It's looking good. Um, so that is bloody awesome. We're up to 27 minutes, guys. We're just going to get some Ascended Masters, hey? Get some Ascended Masters. Stay focused, all right? So we may have this element or air of staying, staying focused within a situation. Otherwise, this is an um, encouragement to stay focused on your path, your journey, or what it is you're trying to achieve. Okay, oh, we've got positive change. All right, so for someone here, um, this is support crew to stay focused on the positivities, mate, and um, what, what you're putting out into the world as well. Okay, we've got positive changes taking place in some way, in some aspect in your life. And this does come down to mental energy and how you view things, okay, and what's actually going on, um, like within the mind. Okay, so please, encouragement. All right, uh, focus on the positivities. Focus on good things happening, okay? Because that's what you're going to draw uh, toward yourself, right? We've got health and healing, okay, which is in the reverse. This doesn't mean that it's a bad thing, okay? These Dorian Virtue cards, sometimes they're in their power when they're upright and sometimes they're in their power when they're in the reverse, okay? Um, with this health and healing, uh, within this circumstance, I feel like it's a very positive thing. Okay, I feel like this is this is health, this is healing, this is uh, something we may have been concerned about in the past, but we've got fruition here, we've got fruition, all right, and fruition with the whole um, law of attraction deal going on as well, all right. Hmm, we've got retreat into nature, which we're going to have a quick look into, okay, this could be talking about having a time out, this could be anything to do with nature, natural I uh, just got uh, natural, like, it's almost coming through as like a natural products. Uh, natural remedies, perhaps, um, could apply to you in some way here um, regarding this this sort of energy with the stay focused and the positive change, all right? But we're going to have a look into that retreat into nature. Okay, so with the retreat into nature, um, we've got something that 
we may have not been able to trust, okay? Um, uh, something that we've realized that can't be trusted as well. This is like that coming into reality, okay? And um, this could be involving a uh, mother, a grandmother, a boss figure, an official person, okay? And with the retreat, this is like literally taking the time out to reassess, okay? So um, reassess things. And this also talks about uh, things that are hidden as well, uh, things that you may feel are sneaky or sus or cunning in some way. And this is about having the time out, okay, to deal with these things. All right, um, for someone else here on a separate message, we've got that house back again, which is not in its uh, power at all. Um, this can be a bloody let's go camping vibe. All right, <laughs> legit, because changes are taking place, mate. Um, this can be about, um, you know, taking taking the time out. Um, it's, it's a change in scenery, a change in scenery for someone here. And um, for somebody else, we've got that, uh, you know, friend pet aspect involved. Um, and this can also talk about organisms as well, organisms. And we've got um, a scythe here, which is talking about uh, something that may have been sudden, uh, but now something is um, taking a more slow and steady approach. There's a slowness. because So this represents a fast action, okay, but there seems to be some sort of delay here or um, it's, it's coming through as a delay or a hold up. Perhaps there might be a hold up in something. All right. But retreat into nature, guys. All right. Have a time out. Have a good think. Do what needs to be done. Come to your own conclusions and make your own decisions uh, regarding everything. But please have a good look at everything. Okay. Um, and see what goes on. All right. I hope you enjoyed these messages today. Feel free to check out any other videos. And uh, take it easy, guys. I love you guys heaps. Okay. See you.